Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, just like it says on the hat. And thanks for dropping into my radio room for a ham shack chat. This time we're going to be taking a look at the multi-purpose VFO outer dial or MPVD on Yesu's FTDX10 hybrid SDR HF radio. This is a powerful tool that can greatly enhance your ham radio operations and experience. As always, any additions, corrections, concerns, or questions can be posted down in the comments section below. Comments? Questions? This here is your center ring tensioner. And just like we learned back in shop class, way back when we had shop class, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Right now, you can see it's fairly loose, and it's, it's, it's going around. But if we move it to the right, I'm going to move it just to the center, and you can see the tab sticking down there. It's a little tighter, and if you move it all the way over, then it is really snug. It takes a little effort to do that. I like having mine loose, so I'm going to move it over here and maybe just, uh, just a little bit of tension. So now that we've seen that the outer ring does not control the tension on the inner ring, we ask the question, what does it do? Long answer short, it is a multi-purpose control. With the CS turned off, the inner ring can be used for fine-tuning and the outer ring can be used for quicker tuning in bigger steps. So this is taking 50, 50 hertz steps, whereas the inner ring is taking five hertz steps. Now, if we turn it on, we get more functions. And I'm gonna show you that if you press and hold that CS, which is your custom select button, it brings up a number of things that you can do. So as you can see, I've selected that one to my level. You can also do peak, contrast. I'll leave this up for a few seconds so that you can kind of digest what's in there and maybe see what your use would be. Now I'm going to exit out of there. You just press the CS button. You'll notice up here on my function knob, and I'll just refresh you on that, you can pick any of these functions to be attached to this function knob. I've selected RF power. So we'll get out of there. And you can see when I turn this, I'm getting my RF power. So if I usually, you know, 100 watts is max. And you know, if I want to work QRP, well, I can turn it down there to QRP levels. The outer ring, if you recall, that was our level. So this, you see, I'm turning up my level and you can see the activity on the screen as I'm going and I could take it all the way up to 30 or I can take it down to just where I start to see signals. I'm using the waterfall for this demonstration but if I wanted to I could do the exact same thing in my 3D display and we'll turn it down. All I want to see just the grass barely growing and you can see the signals there. Just a quick intermission to ask, that is, if you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. Because they like me. So let's look at a few other things that our MPVD multi-purpose VFO outer dial can do. We're going to come up here to step memory channel. And I'm just going to select that. You see that my custom select light went off and the step has come up. And now if I move this, you'll see that I am changing the frequency in 5,000 hertz increments. Now, if I come up here to my VFO memory selection and select memory, you'll see I go to a memory. And if I press and hold the step memory channel until the light starts blinking, I'm scrolling through the different memories programmed into the FTDX10 and how to program those memories will be the subject of another video. Now, if I go back to the VFO mode, memory disappears, and I'm back to the frequency that I was working. 
I'm going to go back to my custom select. Now that I'm back with the custom select light on, I can adjust my level. But if I come up here and very carefully reach in and push the band button, I can use my outer ring to adjust to the band that I wish to be on. I can do the same thing with my mode button. I'm going to switch around between the modes. Some people have made the observation that the outer ring and the buttons here are too close. Just be careful when you're reaching up there. Uh, yes, it is easy to come here and start to adjust things that you might not want to adjust while you're pushing the button. But I think that's something that you can probably train out. Just get some more experience with it. Another quick break to ask you to help me promote this and other videos of mine by sharing. <laughs> ah, thank you for sharing. With your friends, compatriots, and cohorts in the amateur radio community, especially on social media. A couple more things that you can do with your outer ring is activate your clarifiers. So with the CS light turned on, I can adjust my level because I pick that out of that list. I can adjust my RF power using the function key. And if I make a selection on the clarifier, you can see that I've now on the clarifier RX and turning the outer knob changes my clarifier. So I can zoom right in on a maybe somebody who's a little off frequency when they're coming back to me. And do the same thing on TX, which is, you know, this is your RIT, XIT control on a lot of other rigs. And if you need to, you can pick both of them. So I'm in Clarifier, RX, TX, and you can see that I'm actually changing the dial frequency. I'm actually changing the frequency that I have dialed up. Shut them off. So let's just go ahead and clear these out. And you'll see that we are back to adjusting the level. And that's because I selected level here. Between YouTube videos from other creators, multitude of Google searches, and the owner's manual, this was everything that I could find about using the multi-purpose VFO outer dial. I hope you've gained a greater appreciation of this new technology for ham radio operations. I also hope that you put what I presented here to work and find that it improves your radio time. Further, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed researching and preparing it for you. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I am at your service. This has been a Ham Shack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. Is it over yet? <laughs>